Hey, how are you doing today? Scott Susan I here with your first Fat Loss Quickie Nutrition Tip. Now with the Fat Loss Quickie experience, our main focus when it comes to nutrition is to master the fundamentals. And when it comes to mastering the fundamentals, the main thing that I want you to focus on is increasing the amount of natural foods that you consume throughout the day and throughout the week. Now I'm not telling you to go completely all natural, never eat junk again. We're not about perfection here. Angie and I definitely enjoy our treats. I'm a little bit more scheduled with my treats where once or twice a week I'll get in and, and have pizza, chocolate bar, or some sort of treat along that line. Uh, when I'm really serious it's once a week and uh, the rest of the time I'll, I'll get in two treats throughout the week. And she likes to have uh, a small little snack a day, maybe two cookies, maybe a tiny little bowl of ice cream. She's really good with her control and, uh, and managing, uh, managing that and she finds that the daily rewards just a tiny, tiny little bit is enough to, uh, to satisfy all of her cravings. So when we're talking natural foods, we're talking things like uh, for breakfast or midday snack, oatmeal with berries, um, eggs are natural, anything that's not man-made, anything that doesn't come in a bag or a box, uh, fruit, vegetables, lentils, we're trying to increase, increase all these things, almonds, walnuts, uh, seeds, anything natural, and it's very easy to get these types of things in uh, in your diet plan, in your nutrition plan throughout the day. And I'm going to be showing you basically with the Fat Loss Quickie experience. You're going to be looking over my shoulder, <coughs> it's kind of behind the scenes look of how we eat in our household, even challenges that we face throughout the day. If we're giving into cravings, you can count on me pulling out the camera and and getting you guys involved and showing you what I'm dealing with. Right now, I'm about to. Uh, I'm about to have lunch and, and my biggest key to success when it comes to sticking with my nutrition program is leftovers. Leftovers are absolutely huge <laughs> for me because uh, we're eating anywhere from four to six meals a day. Uh, I, again, we're not, we're not drill sergeants here. We're not about perfection like I said uh, and we don't count calories. We're not into all that. We like to keep it this a fun experience, not something that you're going to dread. And, and just drop off. And basically, it's just incorporating more natural foods into your diet. So, leftovers save me because I, I mean, we're busy. That's why we're doing the Fat Loss Quickie program because it's quick, intense, and gets things done. Same thing with nutrition. I like to prepare meals that are done quick and fast. And when I do prepare meals, I like to make extra. So the next time I have to eat, I don't need to prepare. It's just a matter of warming it up in the oven or warming it up in the microwave just for a couple of minutes. And I got some stuffed peppers here. Um, I think I've showed you guys one of the, uh, if you haven't seen the stuffed pepper recipe yet or the video that, of Angie making stuffed peppers in the crock pot, I'll make sure uh, I point you in that direction. But uh, it's one of our favorite meals. We have it here in our home on a weekly basis. Um, and Angie made leftovers. So right now we had it for dinner last night. It's lunch right now. So I'm pulling out a stuffed pepper here. I got a nice red pepper. We've got. Uh, uh, some red, yellow, so we've got, I just saved it in the Tupperware container from yesterday and what Angie did as well. So I mean that meal was good for last night's dinner for all of us and again for lunch today. But in addition to making the extra stuffed peppers, the, the stuffing inside, she made a lot more. So this is brown rice in here, there's some carrots, tomatoes, kidney beans, peas, uh, I'm trying to think of what else is in here that I'm not seeing right now corn, uh, more peppers, she even cut up some, some of the extra peppers that we had. So in addition to the pepper that we're getting in that, we're getting more pepper in here, some celery. Okay, so it's, it's, I mean, it's different every time. She'll just cut up a bunch of different vegetables that we have on in hand and include them in the stuffed pepper and stick them in the crock pot. Sprinkle a little bit of uh, cheddar cheese on top afterwards. Fantastic dish. I'll make sure I point you in the direction of that dish because it's absolutely outstanding. One of our favorite in the household. And now I've got leftovers, so I'll have this right now, and my next meal I'll probably just have some of this rice in a bowl with the, the vegetables and tomatoes and sauce. I mean, it's great on its own. Uh, and I'll probably munch on some almonds for a bit of the crunchiness, uh, as well as a little side dish. So, leftovers is key. I'll be showing you guys, you'll be seeing a lot, you'll be seeing me barbecuing and, uh, and all the different ways of how I prepare extra food every single time I cook, so I'm not spending all this time in the kitchen. And having stuff in a Tupperware is very easy to pull out, warm up, and and uh, and get yourself a healthy, nutrition meal. So we're focusing on fundamentals. Let's master the fundamentals first, and uh, and then we'll get to some advanced te techniques down the road. But I don't want to give you any crazy advanced techniques right now. 
unless you've mastered the fundamentals. And I find that is the number one problem for people out there right now. They're trying to find the diet that's giving those secret advanced techniques, yet they struggle with just consuming more natural foods in their diet. So this is the easiest way to, uh, to improve your nutrition, improve your diet, is just to slowly increase your natural food intake and don't go for perfection. Enjoy your treats occasionally. Uh, for me, I like to schedule them in. So we'll talk about scheduling our, our nutrition meals in, uh, in, in another video. Hope you enjoyed this Fat Loss Quickie nutrition tip. See you guys for the next one. Enjoy your Fat Loss Quickie workout and I'll see you on Twitter. Let me know any questions that you may have. Share your goals with me. Share your successes with me. See you in the support community as well. Have an awesome day.